Okay, now our result activity. We're gonna edit this thing because, as you can see, here we're gonna add the line chart. So, we're gonna add this, copy this. Just add it here, much better, no problem. I did a chart. Perfect. Here we're gonna go to our activity. Wherever we're gonna retrieve it. We are in result activity. Retrieve the chart. Import. Perfect. I'll create it in the code here if you want to create it programmatically. Line chart. Uh, it's relative layout and then you can insert it inside so we don't need to do this here we are going to add the data so after you have an instant of chart you can create data and add it to the chart this example uses a line chart classes the x and y coordinate of the chart use a bar chart use a mm -hmm, etc okay here let's just create this data so add to wrap each data object into an entry object like below Turn your data into an entry object. Your, d your data. I'm gonna convert it to an entry object. It's like your data for each object in your data data object. Entries and then add new entry and get value that y. So this is your data. Must have two things like this. Or you can just create entries directly it's up to you so I'll just follow this an array list of entries like this alt and enter pie chart import import also the list import the list perfect so this one is not mandatory with the diamond opera operator. So here we're gonna generate a bunch of data for i. In the i get zero. Let's just put y i hundred. I'm gonna increment uh, the i. So we'll be drawing data using the i. So we have entries dot add new entry can I put uh, the i to be automatically converted here just use math.random of course it is a double so you need to cast it it's kind of we don't care about the, the data perfect now we have generated our random graph now what the next step you need to add is the listen you created the line data set object. Data set object holds data which belong together and loads time in the data. As only description purpose ensures rule is enabled. Okay, perfect. Just create this data. Import all space. No we need any styling for now we don't need to just comment this maybe we use it later the last step is you need to add the line that does the object you created to the object is also the data okay so the line data a lot of functions there and then we have to set the data and then we have invalidate what does it mean invalidate I don't know now this should be okay. Let's try to run this code and <coughs> see what we got. As you can see, we generated a graph. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so I clicked on the animation, and there is this awesome here animation and there is a way to animate the way our application looks so we'll be animating the x-axis go back to our code here to the data 